Taken this time by Joe Hopes for Ireland. And there drives pretty decent too. They're over the line and they have the score. They knew if they joined in numbers, as you see, Willie de Klerk adding his weight. Short, on the Short line. again. O'Connell. Big spices there as well. Now they'll play for Gavin. Hugh Gavin. Short. Short again. Great defence from France. They might be there this time, Ireland. They are. That's the second try. Okay. Not just a short. Who was burst over. Well, when they shifted the ball to Gavin, I thought he dived over. I thought he'd used his weight and his power, but then... Castro goes in for the steal. Coffee. Now, Ward. Numbers here for Ireland. Here's Gavin, big man. Big moments. Big try for the inside centre. Fine size the defenders. And then by the time they notice... He's had a big part to play. Out the back to Nene. It was just behind him. Been hacked to hit here by Murphy. Tracy's there as well. Tracy for Ireland. He scores. They're back in the lead. And Tackler just not quite yep. as crisp. Led to the ball on the floor, and that man there, Finn Tracy. Wait until I whistle and I say time on. Yeah. It's been pretty physical. Time on. Well, they're rolling the dice here, Ireland. Nusinov taking it up front. They are almost there this time. They do get there. The captain finishing it off. Little pop pass from Luke Murphy. He gets into a really strong, low position there. It's so difficult to stop. We saw Pisani. Advantage. The referee's arm goes out once more, and surely Italy are walking a fine line when it comes to their discipline. Murphy, declared, puts it off to Ben O'Connor. Can try lovely pass there on the outside by Jack Murphy, and he's on that drift. Knocked in again, looking to get this back line moving. It's there for Brophy. A lovely hands to get that ball through to Gavin, and a drop ball to the corner. Brilliant score! But again, line quick breakdown. And a dog ball, the acceleration here, and the power in the end. Yes. Battle of the shoulders now, penalty advantage, and Ireland can play it out the back if they so choose. Ben Howard into contact, stop two metres shy, Walker wants to have a go. Again, he breaks the first tackle, makes a metre, Ireland don't want to get held up, they want to get over the line, they surge and power for the line, and they get the line. How many times have we seen Ireland in this position bundle their way over? There's another penalty advantage, this time Wales offside. Coffey wants to play it out the back, I think, try and let the backs have a go. Hugh Gavin right in front of the referee, and Ireland get their second try of the half. Works back, stay back inside, works through the forwards, and Gavin, three players on him, three Welsh players on him. Big moments, these in the game for Ireland to try and press home this early advantage they have in the second half. That was a brilliant take by Hopes, had the clutch to get it. He sees the initiative and possession. Ireland breaking away for the line, and they're over. Henry Walker gets there. The Ireland hooker. And it was up to Ford to try and stop Walker. Great decision making. Ulsterman trading places with the Leinsterman. And another of the presentation college, Bray, contingent in this Ireland under 20 side. Now here they come, rolling and rumbling forward. There's the trial on Ireland, hunting a bonus point try. Ireland claiming the ball is gone, the referee took his time. From, Bo or from Calvi. Difficult one for the referee, to be fair. But there's no Welsh bodies under that. We can see here, Danny Sheehan is right over the ball. So it's the Osprey scrum half replacement, Rodri Lewis that's in, but here come Ireland again. 
one way traffic. Two tries in a matter of minutes for the man off the bench, Danny Sheehan. The line out, throw, catch from O'Connell, and then the way they build their mall, it's just devastating and so hard to defend. Welsh player fixed in there, referee to happy to let Ireland continue, and they have a chance to continue with Finn Tracy back on the inside. Ben O'Connor stretches his legs, opens the shoulder, and it's another try for Ben O'Connor on court saw. Ireland are rampant now, they're finding holes and spaces. Super finish by O'Connor. Murphy again, going to cross kick in the direction of Finn Tracy, and it's right on points for Tracy. A little in and away, but Tracy will score for Ireland. That is how you do it in transition. Turnover knew exactly where the space was going to be. Look at the quality of the kick. And then when that man is in that space, well, arguably, Josh Bellamy should have done better. But all six for ten of it runs into a poke for Dewar. Advantage Ireland. Murphy to his open side, Bryn Ward. They reload quickly again. Cut out ball to Tracy. Inside ball to O'Connor. And that's another stellar score. Create more space on the inside. Look at this line. Just slightly, one or two meters. That's all it takes. And it stresses that inside defender. Advantage! They've got an advantage here as well. Four metres out, Ireland looking for their third try here. They're going to use some whip. Murphy, long ball, McLaughlin. There's no one in front of him. Yeah! Yeah! Hugo McLaughlin scores for Ireland. From the Irish forwards and then the weighted English born, but part of the Rugby IQ programme in Ireland and here they come replacement hooker Henry Walker scores Ireland's bonus point try well that's the way to make an impact well what a response arguably England just shooting themselves in the foot given too many penalties away but Ireland completely turned the tables Advantage they're going to pick and side. go here a meter out, Ireland. Seven points down. Shot! Looking for the winning score. Almost over the line. Looks very close. And they do have the score. It's right next to the post. Well, there you go. There's the moment. 